Welcome. We're in chapter 7 and we're going to talk about combining faces together from two different photos. So go ahead and select Faces Family 1 and Faces Family 2. I'm going to drag a marquee around the thumbnails. Then right click and choose Edit with Photoshop Elements Editor. I'm going to go over to the Guided section. Probably going to have to scroll down a little here. And under Photo Merge, I'm going to choose Faces. It's going to ask us to select between 2 to 10 photos in order for this to work. I have my two photos open. First thing that will ask you is to begin, drag a photo from the project bin and drop it here to set it as a base image or your final image and how you want it to finally look like. Okay, and let's talk, to, talk about the difference between the two photos. In this photo I have everybody here looking at the camera, but she isn't. In the source photo I have her looking at the camera, everybody else except for he's making an expression. So what I want to do is I want to put her face into this final output and then print it for a 4x6. So how can I do this? Well the first thing it's going to ask us to do is to align the photos. So go ahead and select the alignment tool. It's going to give you three points to align. So I'm going to select his face, faces that don't move too much. I'm going to use her too. I'm going to choose her because she don't move too much. And then I'm going to try to choose the same areas in this photo so it can line it. Then I'm going to click Align Photos. Okay, so it aligns her photo, her face to this area about the same. Okay, that's okay. I'm not worried about the other parts because I'm not using the other parts, so it doesn't matter. I'm going to select the Pencil Tool. I'm going to draw around an area. You can increase your brush size by clicking here. Or choose the left or right bracket keys. And I'm going to draw a circle around her face. And what that's going to do is take her face from here and put her face here. And if we see, I can looks like I can get away with it now. But if I want to choose areas that I don't want included in the final, I would select the eraser tool and I select and erase parts of this I don't want included. Oh, I see I did it too much. So now I got to go back to the pencil tool, pencil tool, select it again. There we go. That looks nice. You can show the strokes if you want or hide them. It doesn't matter. And if you scroll down, you can show the region of what was included in the final. And I'm happy with this, so I'm going to click Done. And there we have our final product. So before she was looking away, and now she's looking at us, and everybody looks perfect for the photo. In the next lesson, we're going to talk about the scene cleaner.